Your mommy and I, we love you very, very, very much, okay? We would do anything for you. You know that, right? Do you love each other anymore? We love our family. And um, sometimes parents hit a, a little bit of, of a rough spot, you know, and they got to figure things out. We're in one of those spots? Yeah, yeah, we are. Are Mommy and I coming back? Um, your mom and I have um, some stuff that we have to work through. She says everything's going to be okay. It is. Absolutely. She told me she loves you this much. Wow. Well, I love you this much. And I can't stop kissing you because I love you too much. Yes, Daddy, I will. Stop. I will. I can't. Well, I love you too much. But if we don't hurry up, you're going to be late for school. So you got to go upstairs and brush your teeth and get your stuff, okay? Okay, can I have a kiss? Okay. Up you go. What are you doing here? I want to see Emma. Look, it, it, it's, it's, it's not a good time right now, okay? I am her mother. I was just about to take her to school, Annie. Okay, and after that? We'll talk about it. I want her back, Ryan. Not in that house. It was horrible. I agree, but it's not going to happen again. I'm going to need a little bit more than just a promise. Okay, what do you want me to do? I will do it. We have to be able to work this out. She stays with me until I'm 100% sure that she's safe, okay? Just let me see her. I don't want to upset her, Annie. I'm sorry. Aiden asked me if I wanted kids. My brain was on fire, and I said yes. Ryan. Oh, my God. Aiden must have gone completely insane. No, he understood. He, he knew that Ryan and I shared a life together. We were married. Oh, come on. I mean, Aiden is cool, but nobody's that cool. Enough, Kendall, okay? Why don't we get back to work? Sorry I'm late. I got held up dropping off the way. Is he okay? Uh, better than I am. What happened? He uh, swallowed my engagement ring. Choked. Oh, my God. I am so glad that little A is okay, and I'm thrilled that you're engaged. You just had a honeymoon, and, and you're still married. But can we please work on getting Bella off the loading dock and into stores, please? Sorry I'm late. Well, you get a pass for little A, but um, I need you to conference with the AEs on the national campaign, and I have some ideas I want to throw at you. Um, ease up just a little bit, Amanda. Ryan took Emma. What? Oh, thank God. Um, did you go to him? He wouldn't let me take her back. He wouldn't even let me see her. Well, maybe because you had a gun laying around the house. A gun? It wasn't Annie's fault. It was Adam's. What are you going to do? I'm going to get Emma back. Well, if you ask me, she is way better off with Ryan. Ryan is violating a restraining order. A bogus restraining order based on bogus bruises. I saw them. Yeah, and Annie confessed to Ryan that she was the one that left the marks, not him, to get the restraining order to hurt him. My God, he told you that? You're a bitch. All I was asking, Kendall, was Ryan to allow me to see my own daughter. I have that right. No, you are an absolutely delusional, paranoid woman who leaves guns around the house for her child to find and who completely acts out all the time. Ryan had every right to do what he did. Oi. Get the spy case out. Thanks. Yeah. What about the Hubbard situation? Actually, it's, uh, it's the best of me else. Good, glad to hear it. That's why I wanted to see you. Turns out there's no affair after all. What? Well, I mean, there was, but there isn't any more. See, Jesse had an affair a long time ago when he was on the run, but he ended it, and the woman wasn't content to leave it that way. Is this in the past? <laughs> yeah. Still gonna come back? Well, like I said, it tried, and Jesse set it away again. We're sure? Yeah, we're sure. We're talking about Jesse here. He's the most honest man I've ever met. I was right, you were wrong. Just a case of something seeming to be one way and it was actually another way. 
You know, Angie's feeling bad about Dowdy. You know, I got to tell you the truth. You got me so wound up. I had a couple twinges myself. So no harm done then. Well, I didn't say that. I mean, this shook her up pretty bad. Me too. I mean, their love is as close to perfect as I've ever seen. Then and now. Even with problems, that kind of love is rock solid. Good for them, hey? Good for them. Angie wasn't wrong to worry. You know, sometimes things can be so damn perfect. You sure as hell know. Won't last. Brian is amazing. Like the greatest dad ever. If he if he took Emma, it wasn't to punish you. He grabbed her and ran. He threatened us. Hello, firearm in the house. I explained that. Yes, conveniently. He did the right thing. God, you are so predictable. The both of you. St. Flip and Ryan can do no wrong. Well, first of all, he doesn't lie. He doesn't manipulate. He doesn't play games. He's breaking the law. To protect his daughter, I can protect my own daughter. Oh, okay, so the gun wasn't loaded, so now that makes you a great mom? Was this your idea? Did you put Ryan up to this, taking Emma? No, of course not. Ryan made the right choice all by himself. Excuse me. Where are you going? I am going to do exactly what I should have done the second Ryan stole my daughter. Damn it, she's going to the police. You have to warn Ryan. Uh, Ryan, call Kendall when you get this. Please, it's urgent. You better get over there. No, I, I, I can't go. You have to. I can't. I can't. I promised that I would not get in the middle of Ryan's life. He calls it meddling. I call it concern. You have to go. Go. Go to Ryan. No, I, I can't. I just got back from my honeymoon, the honeymoon where I called my husband Ryan. Okay, well, you said Aiden was no, completely no, understanding. No, I will not be pushed at Ryan. All right, okay, I'm not pushing you. But if you don't get there first, Ryan will go to jail. Do you want that on your conscience? So he got probation, but at least he's not going to be in Iraq for six months. Look, I know I'm late, so pile it on. Uh, we are fine-tuning the Bella Print campaign. Great job on those reports, by the way. Thanks. You done collating, Master P? Almost. Big side up, right? <laughs> it's hard to believe it's your first time word processing. They're flawless. Wow. I, um, I didn't know my P's from my Q's before I got this job. Well, we couldn't have done it without you, you saved us. Now we just have to figure out our next move. Mm -hmm. I say we call the Europe lab, have them hurry things up. We put in a huge order. They just can't meet demands. You're suggesting they cut corners? Why not? I'll tell you why not. You push a manufacturer, there'll be delays. Delays mean less orders and too much product. Then what? I'm feeling way too glass half full to listen to you. Fine. Well, then add not listening to me to the list of many things you will regret down the line. Look, if Bella breaks big and stays big, we're going to need all hands on for the next month or so. I'm in. I'm uh, busy 24-7. Too busy to be my maid of honor? No, really? Really. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I would love to. You're going to throw the bouquet directly to me, right? It's got your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A wedding and a new perfume. You're taking multitasking to a whole new level. Ooh, you haven't seen anything yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, intern, will you grab that? This is Fusion. Uh, I'm looking for Greenleaf Smythe. She's not in. Can I take a message? This is Dr. Thorpe. It's about a lab report. I'll call back. Wait. Uh, no, I'll, I'll take that message. Just, uh, you know, I'll pass it along. Well, the lab results confirm my diagnosis of an allergic reaction. There was a synthetic in her bloodstream, probably the result of topical contact, of soap or lotion. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll pass her the message. 